Hi, welcome back to Make It with Mod Podge. This is a very special week at Plaid. It is Mod Podge's birthday. And so today I'm celebrating by sharing with you three different really fun mini gifts that you can make using Mod Podge and folk art paints. Now I'm starting with those mini crates from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna show you how you can do everything from painting them to napkin decoupage and paper decoupage. Look how cute these turn out. So on this one, we've got a little bit of a champagne and chocolate vibe going on. This is a really fun little mini art crate going on. And of course, we've got our festival summer fun beauty one. These are really easy to make and you can customize them to any style that you want. So grab some of those mini crates and let's make them over. For today's project, I'm working with these Dollar Tree wood crates. I'm using matte Mod Podge and some adorable printed napkins. The first thing you're gonna do is separate those plies. We're only working with the top printed ply. You're going to add the Mod Podge in a nice thin coat to the top or the side edge of the little wood crate. Then place your napkin right on top and smooth with your fingers to remove the wrinkles and to make sure that it's sealed down. I'm not rubbing too hard here. And then you can top coat with more Mod Podge. This is the matte formula. Once it's a little bit dry, I go ahead and trim off the edges and just smooth down with my finger. Now for that side, I'm gonna add a little bit of this striped napkin there. So I'm adding the Mod Podge just directly to the side of the crate and then I'm gonna place the napkin down. I'm not worrying about the little hole there because we will be cutting that as soon as this is dry. So smooth with your finger. And then it's the same technique where we're gonna cut away the extra. And then as soon as that's dry for about 20 minutes, we'll be ready to do the little armhole for the crate. So I'm gonna cut away the inside there. And then with my paintbrush and with more Mod Podge, we'll wrap that to the inside and go ahead and get that glued down. I'm just using the same Mod Podge here. Once it's dry, you can fill your crate with all sorts of fun gifts. Now this is going to be a festival beauty one, so I've got soap, scrunchies, lip gloss, and some sunnies. Okay, now let's paint one. I'm using some folk art paints, and I've got a nice summer color selection here. And I'm just going ahead and brushing it directly on. I'm not using any primer or any base coat. I'm just brushing it into the different areas on the crate. I've got my yellow, my orange, and my hot pink. Now, once this is dry, if you wanted to seal it, you could add a top coat of your Mod Podge there. Once the whole thing is painted and dried, you're ready to fill it up with all sorts of goodies. Now for this one, I'm doing an art box, so I've got some mini canvases, some notebooks, some pencils, and of course, one of those mini bottles of Mod Podge. For my last one, I'm gonna add some paper using that same matte Mod Podge. You're just gonna trace the crate off onto the back of a piece of paper using a pencil and go ahead and cut out that shape. Now for this panel, I'm just doing one solid piece, but you could do individual pieces for the little sections on that crate. Now I'm adding the matte Mod Podge to the back of the paper, and then I'm just gonna place it right onto the wood. Again, you don't need any primer or anything like that. You've got a little wiggle room to get it into position, and then you'll just press and smooth with your fingers until it's completely glued down. Now for that side, I went ahead and cut out the little hole, and I'm gonna add the Mod Podge directly there and add it to that side. Once everything's been drying for about 20 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a top coat, and that will just seal the paper and give it a nice finish. Now to fill this one up, I'm adding a little mini champagne and some chocolates. Who wouldn't want to get this? All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I know how I'm gonna be celebrating Mod Podge's birthday and that's by getting crafty and I hope that you are too. I'll be back here next week with another fun video to share with you and until then, have a great week.